36 CRL Cypress here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is uh, one of the members of the Redwood family down at Crossroads, which is one of their very highest, I think it actually is their very highest tier of fifth wheel. And they do not disappoint. When I first cracked open the literature on these, it says, uh, you know, Redwood RVs, residential vehicles, as a play on words from recreational vehicles. And at first I was just kind of like, yeah, that's, that's funny. And then I got to really looking at these things and I couldn't agree more with that description. It is spot on. But what's nice is you still have the, the normal towable RV stuff that's really important to get you there, like the, uh, the upgraded trail air pin box. That is a, uh, gonna give you like a, a rubber ride system to help absorb a lot of the shocks and jolts and jumps going down the road. Um, you know, like if you ever pull over a, a set of railroad tracks or a, a pull into a gas station, you get a, a big hefty like, you know, thump when you pull in there. Well, that's gonna work to help absorb that from getting translated from the tow vehicle or pardon me, from the fifth wheel to the tow vehicle. Now this is a drop frame here, so you do have extra, extra large basement storage. You notice that it is self-supporting. You don't have to hold this thing up with your head thanks to the pair of struts in there. All of your doors are fully laminated. This thing's insulated like crazy, and that's the cool thing. The Cypress, the Sequoia, all those, they're all standard uh, with basically the same insulation package for uh, you know basically year-round uh, use if you choose to use it that way. Now, uh, what we're looking at down here in this massive underbelly, that right there is your uh, central vacuum kit. So this is a good time to mention, you may see some options, uh, some uh, upgrades or some uh, like fabric color schemes on this one that are not standard equipment or can change from trailer to trailer. Always double check, you know, make sure the pictures line up. I don't usually reshoot this video footage. Um, so if the pictures in the video look a little different, you now know why. Um, never hesitate to call our sales specialists here at Halitz. Um, make sure that this is exactly the one that you're looking to take home. You know, let's not mince words. If you're going to look at investing a, a good amount of money in something like this, let's make sure it's the right one. Let's make sure it fits your needs and your budget. We can do all that here. That's why we carry so many brands. Um, the uh, 12 cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer is something that we generally add to these. We like to do this because we find a lot of our Cypress customers still tow their fifth wheels quite a bit versus leave them parked seasonally or permanently. And this allows them to maintain some um, you know, cold storage going down the road. Quick mention, don't do that if you're pulling into a gas station. Hop inside, shut that thing off right away. Uh, generally, we will upgrade these to a convection microwave from just a standard microwave. But what's really cool, a lot of RVs when you do that, you, they actually subtract the oven, but you see that you get both here when you upgrade to the uh, convection. You notice hard surface countertops all the way through the kitchen, both on the island where they're present, as well as in your primary kitchen space, and storage galore. And in terms of how this stuff is put together, it's absolutely tremendous and wonderful. I think I hurt my hand. <laughs> But that's the only thing you can hurt when you start uh, whopping on one of these. The cabinetry will not fail. Hidden hinge cabinetry, just like you'd want in your house. You know, and what I like about these is they're self-closing. You can get them kind of close, and they pull themselves shut. I like that because this thing actively fights popping open if you're going down the road. It will try to stay closed. Um, the entire island down here, if you notice, is pure storage. But what I want to point out on the island are the extra power outlets you see hidden around here. So if you want to turn this into a, a griddle station or you want to throw a toaster or blender up here, perfect space to do it. And again, a residential vehicle with, with residential equipment for residential use should you choose to use it that way. Um, the uh, dining table here, they really kind of stole the idea from uh, motorhomes and it's becoming so popular. And as a person who doesn't just talk about RVs all day, I actually go camping. I can't tell you how smart and functional this is. Most of the time, there's just two of you in here. Now, there are a pair of extra folding chairs you can bring out. You can fold this up to add extensions for guests, and then you can add the two extra chairs so you can have four people here to play cards or eat dinner or whatever. Um, your, uh, remember, your fabric colorations can vary model to model. Always double check. We try to make the pictures line up for you, though. But this uh, theater seat here, I love. I love, love, love this because... It is directly across from your home theater. This is your primary seating space. So you're just gonna come in, you're gonna kick your feet out, relax, maybe get your toes warmed up by the electric fireplace there, which by the way, this thing down here means you do not have to spend all your, uh, burn up all your propane because you, you already paid for the park's electricity, you know, there you go. Um, while we're sitting here, let's look upward real quick. Notice that you do not see the air conditioner anywhere. You don't see an air conditioner. 
In fact, there are two, and they are both centralized. This has a total of a 30,000 BTU cold air system, twin 15s working together to make this happen. Now, these uh, vents right here, you'll see four of them in the living room. That is your cold air return. It's called a whisper quiet AC. So uh, when the air kicks on, you don't have to crank the TV up from 20 to 30, and you don't have to yell at the person who's sitting next to you just to hear each other. Um, it, it just doesn't, it's, it's only about 10% of the noise from a normal air unit, something like that. We often add these max air fans to the kitchen so that if you are cooking, you can get the heat out, as well as, uh, depending on what, what you're cooking, um, you can keep uh, maybe the smells from uh, what you're cooking from soaking into your upholstery. Now, this is a king-size hide bed This entire thing, all three sections, fold out into a sleeper. So if you do have friends or guests or grandkids, they got a big bed they can sleep on. And it's memory foam. It's not an inner spring. It's not uncomfortable. They're great. Um, you could sleep two adults on there easily. You could probably plop a third one on the king size if you had to. Uh, let's start moving back this way. Oh, geez, I forgot about something huge. Now, I love all the cabinetry you have in here, but this giant pantry has a little hidden surprise. And uh, if you open this up, I was kind of surprised. I was like, wow, the door swings open. That's a little different. It's because this whole thing is washer dryer prepped. You see the plumbing for it right down there. So you have a massive virtual walk-in pantry, or you could put a combo or stackable washer dryer in here. Very, very cool stuff. And little things like this, just an extra little, uh, you know, table right when you walk in. This is where, you, you know, you can walk in, empty your pockets, slide your phone out there, and it's right there for you when you leave. Now, I also love little stuff like just, you'll see the little toe kicks like this around the kitchen. Just a spot so you're not going to stub your toes constantly. By the way, that Max Air fan that I showed you, it does have a wall control. So you can open, close it, turn it in, uh, or turn it on or off right from here. You notice they have three easy steps instead of two tall steps, so it is easier to navigate through one of these. Um, again, residential touches like this little peephole on the door so you can see who's at your door. You notice they keep up with the, the hard surface countertops right here in the bathroom. They don't start to chintz or, or cheap out on that with just a mega size, uh, uh, what's that word? Medicine cabinet. Wow. Must be the end of the day. I'm having trouble coming up with simple words. <laughs> um... Big walk-in shower right here, roughly 50-inch uh, walk-in shower with no big step up, and there is an easy place here to, uh, you know, for seating again if if you prefer or need to sit while you bathe. And if you're looking for leg room, you've got it. And of course, porcelain stool. And actually, that's one other thing I want to mention. You know, you can do the wedding ring tap test. Walk up to the slide fascia. That's all hardwood. That's the sound that a that a metal ring makes on real wood. It snaps like that. Big king bed. This is The king bed is an upgrade, but we tend to put it in most of these. Um, but you notice they do still have windows above the bed that will open. This does lift. There is storage under here. And this is, uh, you see, there's no funny step up or anything. This is a true walk-in fifth wheel bedroom with a huge television, 32-inch TV just for the bedroom. That is absolutely awesome. Um, big uh, counter space right here so if uh, you know you can almost use it like a vanity lots of dresser space below again the very residential styling uh, little spot where you could maybe slide some flip-flops or something under there um, you know your little slip-on shoes and the I like the spa style slide open from the middle doors these are the two folding chairs for the dinette I told you about and I love the symmetry in the closet it's like a true his and hers and that's why it has such a sharp nose because it recesses so far in here to give you all this extra storage space. You can literally stand in and close that closet without you know, bumping your elbows on anything. Um, give us a call to learn even more about these. Like I said, they call them residential vehicles for a reason, and they do not disappoint. Um, we've been very big fans of these for a while, and we are very excited to offer them to you here today. 800-256-5196. Uh, Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.